Right now, there are nearly 1,700 foster kids in Washington who don't have a place to call home, living with social workers in motel rooms as they wait for placement. So part of the solution is more foster families, but one organization is focusing on another issue, and that is more time to find the right home the first time. Vanessa Mishanya reports. One, two, three. <laughs> This is a home in progress. We're adding a large play area room, therapy room. To help kids in the foster care system better progress out of tough situations. They are bounced around from home to home. It's a very traumatizing experience for them. That cycle that Dan Hammer described is exactly what this home is meant to break with his organization, Bridge Receiving wow. Center. So we really feel like this is a model that could be a game changer. The organization is building the center, which will be a soft landing for kids and teens first entering the system, giving them 30 days to work with social workers to find the next step, a process right now that only gets 72 hours. 72 hours is not enough time to locate a family member in most cases. The first placement will be a better placement and mean less subsequent placements. Learning to trust is another goal with live-in counselors in a close proximity to Camp Cedar Springs. The plan is for kids to spend time there for activities meant for fun and confidence building. Help these children remember they're still children. They still get to play and experience life. When kids first come into care, there's a tremendous amount of urgency to get them placed. Jeff right Judy is the executive director of Olive Crest, an organization that helps the state find homes for foster kids. As of right now, the center is being licensed through Olive Crest, as Judy's team is providing them staff, which he says will also benefit from a longer stay. Going to allow for some space and time to for the social workers to be able to make those calls, identify what are the needs of the child, and then. I match those up with the best possible family. It's great to see it all come together. The hard work being put in right now to help kids trying to figure out their next steps. In Lake Stevens, Vanessa Mishanya, King 5 News. The nonprofit center will open as a pilot project, first housing six boys ages 6 to 10 years old, which is the group that needs homes the most in our state. The goal is to expand to more counties. If that goes well, they are looking to raise more money to reach their January deadline. If you want to get more information, go to king5.com and click on the story right there.